Okay then guys, welcome to something completely different to what we've been doing. I know most of our videos have been GTA challenges, but Alex wasn't around today and I wanted to kind of record some solo videos and I thought, what can I do that's really out of the ordinary and, you know, show something that people have never played before and do something completely different. So basically, I've decided to play a flash game called Racehorse Tycoon. And basically the reason I chose it is because I used to play it all the time in school. Literally, our IT teacher was literally a pile of shit. And uh, we basically just used to play fuckloads of games. And this was one of the games I played pretty much every IT lesson. And I used to absolutely love it. And basically it's just kind of like a simulation game. And you look after racehorses, try and get them to win. Win fuckloads of money, things like that. So... It's a really fun, easy game to play, and I thought I'd try it out. And if you guys like it, please leave a comment and tell me to do more, because that will motivate me to do more. But without further ado, let's click play the game. Okay. So, we want to do a new game, of course. So, yeah, basically, you can uh, basically have to pick a horse to begin with. And obviously, the horses aren't the best. They haven't got the best stats at the start. But the more you kind of get into the game, the more money you make and the better it is. So, obviously, I've only got 40 grand at the moment, which, you know, only 40 grand. But I don't want to spend all my money on one horse. So, I want to go for something that's kind of averagely priced, but not something too shit. So, I don't want to go for Rooster Booster. He's a, you know, he's got the worst attitude in the world. He hasn't got any speed, any stamina, or any jumps. We just don't need that in a horse. But... I'm thinking I have a dog chaser or Keith. I'm thinking maybe Keith, mainly because he's basically got all right stats. You know, he's got really good jumps and the rest of his stats aren't too bad. Or I might go for, I'm going to go for dog chaser. I'm going to go for dog chaser because I like his fitness and stamina. He obviously goes to the gym, obviously works out. So we go, go for dog chaser. Right, and next we want to do the jockey. Now we got Patrick O'Cake, Ed Dobbin, Jacaldo, Ted Edwards, Ginny Lee Gover with them beautiful Pat Evans earrings from EastEnders, good old Perry Trotter, Chips McCoy, and uh, of course the Mr. T jockey, Clubber Barracus. Uh, so obviously, the better jockey you go for, the more it's going to cost you each week. But. I don't know, I don't want to go for someone too shit. I mean, Patrick O'Cake, Jesus Christ. Look at his dodginess levels. <laughs> his dodginess levels are off the chart. He's got too much aggression. And, you know, I've got more experience in riding horse than he has. So, I think the person I might go for, I might just push the boat out and go for Ted Edwards. A little bit expensive, but he's got really good experience and literally no dodginess. So, let's do it. Now we're on to the trainers. We <laughs> this game is so random. We've got Albert Fudge Pack, Tina Turnover, The Duke, or Harry Cheese. And obviously, each one has like a specialist subject. So, the thing is, I know that our horse has good fitness and jumps. So, I don't want to go for good old Albert because that's his specialist subject. So, I think I'm going to go for... Uh, I'm going to go for Harry Cheese. Because he's got really good speed and, you know, I feel like Dog Chaser, you know, he, ne he needs a nice little bit of speed, you know. Uh, so, let's go for that. Okay, so, now we've got the horse feed. I mean, this game is like, fuck you, we're not going to feed your horse hay. You know, we're going to feed it bloody burgers, cakes, beer and cheese, of course. Sorry, guys, let me just readjust because I realise that's a little bit out of frame. There we go, that's better. So, I mean, what? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm just going to go for beer. I mean, I'm not going to mess about. It's the only thing that I really feel could, you know, get the dog chaser going. You know what I mean? Uh, pick your stables. The rickety MF stable, stable Kia, or the I stable. We're going to go for stable Kia. We're going to get things going, mate. We want, we want a decent stable. We don't want a wooden, rotting piece of shit. Pick your transport. <laughs> okay, so we got the Banger 45, the Chavmobile. The Far Transit and the Deluxe. What should we go for? Um, I feel like we have already, you know, used quite a lot of our money. So, I'm going to go for the Chavmobile for now. 
I don't want to, but, you know, sometimes you've got to make sacrifices in life, so let's go for that. Okay, so, basically, there's 20 weeks, and we're in the first week now, and we've got our horse, our jockey, our trainer, our horse feed, our stables, and our transport. And, basically, that's kind of it. We're all set up now. We're ready to go. I'm liking our setup. It looks beautiful. I think, you know, Harry Cheese is going to compliment Dog Chaser well. Good old Ted, Ted Edwards riding him, you know, getting him... Getting him their first place finishes. But yeah, guys, now basically what we do, we go to the old races. And obviously you can choose like a difficulty of race, distance and prize money. Uh, obviously this is our first race. So I think I'm going to go for the Ease Bookies flat, which is easy. It's not too far, so he should be able to manage good old Dog Chaser. And if we win, we'll get a cheeky old nine grand. So, oh my God, that's loud. Jesus Christ. Okay, so this is kind of the setup, guys. Uh, you can place bets here. So currently, you know, Bish Bash Bosh is favourite. Oh, Leap of Faith is favourite. And we're third favourite. So I think what I'll do is I might, I might, you know, betray my horse and bet on something else. I think I might bet Cheeky 800 on Bish Bash Bosh. I just, I don't feel Dog Chase has got it in him for this one. I know it's my horse. I know... Before you shoot me down, but sometimes you've got to make a bet against an opponent. It's just got to be done. So we'll confirm that. Form guide here, you can kind of check the form, but obviously we haven't raced yet, so you can't look at the form. So yeah, without further ado, let's start the race. Here we go, guys. Okay. Oh, and you get to choose how hard your horse tries. So obviously, um, as it says there, the harder your jockey rides, the better chance of winning but the greater chance of a fall. If he doesn't try in a race, the more chance you have of being fined by the stewards. So, obviously, I don't want a fall, so I'm going to go for a cheeky eight. I'd say that's about, about decent. Let's continue. Okay, they're off. Let's do this. Come on. I kind of want Bish Bash Bosh to win, but I kind of want Dog Chaser to win as well. Dog Chaser's in the lead. Dog Chaser's eyes oh, losing the lead. He's losing the lead. Oh, bollocks. Desert Daisy wins by a length. Desert Daisy wins by a length. So, yeah, guys. Basically, Bish Bash Boss and Leap of Faith, the two favourites, didn't even freaking finish. They got a U. Uh, I still got a bit of money for finishing second. So, I actually made a bit of money there, which isn't too shabby. So, let's continue. Oh, Dog Chaser has improved speed by five. Lost 2% of fitness and 4% of jumps. Dog Chaser seems to be enjoying the diet of beer. <laughs> Dog Chaser on the old Guinnesses. Really likes a Chapmobile to get around. Finds the living conditions in Stable Key are quite comfortable. So that's what I like to hear. And brilliant, I've got a £100 fine for speeding along in my Chapmobile. Was obviously doing 60 and a 30. But yeah, guys, you can see all your races here. 1 to 20, that's our first race. Profit minus... <laughs> We actually lost 650 in the first race because of the bills. But, you know, fuck it. You can't always start with a win. And I feel comfortable that we can, you know, we, we can do it, guys. It's, it could be worse. So I think what I might do in this episode, I might do one more race and then kind of leave it there. And then you guys can let me know what you think about it. That sounds like a plan. So let's go to the races. I think I'm going to go for the mediocre flat. Distance of 2.212 grand winning price. Jesus Christ, this is so loud. I need to bloody turn the sound down, but I'm scared I'm going to stop my recording, so I can't do it. So let's place the bets here. So, oh crap, actually, I just fall. Um, I might have to actually turn my sound down now. Hold on, give, give me a sec, guys. Give me a sec. I'm going to go to system preferences. <laughs> oh, there we go. Look at that. Let's get the sound up, because it is way too loud, and... I can't actually hear myself think and it's going to like ruin the recording completely. So let's get rid of that. Okay, so we're back. Let's have a look at the bet. So Key, good old Keefy boy's favourite. Dog Chaser is just way out there on the favourites list. I'm going to go, I'm going to, I'm going to place a cheeky bet on Deep South. I'm going to do it. I've just got to go for it. Form guide. Our form is second because, you know, we lost. What happens if you click on more info actually? Okay, just lists. Your recent performances. Okay, cool. So, let's start the race. Uh, let's do an eight again. Continue. 
They're off to a gallop. Okay. It's neck and neck with Deep South. It's going strong. Come on, Dog Chaser. Dog Chaser for the win. Dog Chaser for the win. Dog Chaser for the win. Yes, guys. Dog Chaser's recorded his first win. I did bet against him again, so I feel a little bit bad. But, you know, we've got a cheeky bit of 12 grand in there. Can't go wrong. Place first, 12 grand. A little bit of improvement. Still enjoying the beer. Still enjoying the Chavmobile. That's what I like to see, good old dog chaser. Bonus 3k. Look at that, we made a profit of 12 grand. So, you know guys, we're not doing too badly. We're on 34 grand now. So obviously the more money we wait, wait? The more money we make, we can start to make some upgrades to our setup. Look, we got a little achievement. One first race, get in there. That's what I like to see. Got a nice bit of form going on. But yeah, guys, apart from that, uh, I might leave this episode here, but I just wanted to do something different. So be honest with me. If you think this is a pile of shit, then, uh, then let me know because I'd rather you tell me and then I can stop. But if you really think it's a good idea and you're enjoying it, I'll carry on. I'm more than happy to. Uh, so yeah, guys, apart from that, I will potentially speak to you in the next episode. Goodbye.